Security misconfiguration holds the fifth position in OWASP top 10. A web server and application server configuration plays a key role in the security of a web application. These servers are responsible for serving content and invoking applications that generate content. In addition, many application servers provide number of services that web application uses, including data storage, directory services, mail, messaging, and many more. Failure to manage the proper configuration of your servers can lead to a wide variety of security problems. Let's take an example from OWASP. Consider an anonymous external attacker as well as a user with their own accounts that may attempt to compromise the system. Attacker access default account, unused pages, unpatched flaws, unprotected files and directory to gain unauthorized access to the system. Security misconfiguration can happen at any level of the application stack, including the platform, web server, application server, database, framework and a custom code. Developers and system administrators need to work together to ensure that entire stack is configured properly. In security misconfiguration, you have to check your server is using outdated version of any software or not. You have to check the default username and password used by the server and you have to change it periodically. After that, the unrestricted file upload, open directory listing. If you are using any PHP framework, Laravel or Cake PHP, make sure to update your framework library on a daily basis if there is any update available. Now let's move on to the, some practical here. This vulnerability I have found in WordPress version 3.5.2. Here I can able to upload the any HTML file which leads to the stored accesses. So I have managed to, to install here WordPress version 3.5.2 to show you the real scenario. You can see here the WordPress 3.9 is available. This vulnerability has been patched by WordPress uh, security team and this vulnerability is no longer available in WordPress version 3.9. So we have here vulnerable version which is 3.5.2. So let's move on. Let's go to the all post here. I will make the add new post. And you can see here the set feature image. After by clicking on this, this page is, uh, this library is vulnerable for unrestricted file upload vulnerability. Here I can able to upload any HTML file. So let's uh, make some HTML file here so I will open the new file here text I will write some small code here HTML or simply I will just use some script word here script and I will save it as HTML5 xss.html so let's open with you can see here the alert is prompted so now let's exploit this now in the upload file let's select file here click on the HTML file and you can see here that our HTML file is successfully uploaded. Now let's set as a feature image here. Now we have successfully uploaded our uh, HTML stored XSS file. Now it's time to open this file in URL. So I will go ahead and click on this. Uh, here I will copy image location. Paste uh, uh, to check the uh, directory here i will simply upload one some em image file here so let's upload this image file so you can see here
copy image location paste as you can see here and I will just simply change xsa.html file as you can see here the, our payload is successfully executed so this is how we can use the unrestricted file upload vulnerability to make it as stored accesses now let's move on to the another real life scenario uh, the vulnerability which i have found in the gatebase.com it is much similar to this kind of vulnerable this kind of unrestricted file upload uh, this vulnerability is also patched by gatebase security team so this vulnerability is no longer exist in future simple.com i will play here here you can see i can able to upload any html file i uploaded the btest.html file and you can see here it is successfully uploaded here and when i simply directly open this in the new tab the test hack is uploaded is uh, executed here so this is how the security misconfiguration has been done uh, there is another uh, another uh, security misconfiguration happen in the server which is known as open directly listing so this is our suruji the basic web application penetration testing um, lab so i will just go ahead and click on the view source and simply copy this and paste so this is known as the open directly listing vulnerability you can go to the images here and watch all the images over here so see you guys on the next movie